Next, we are going to learn about a learning coach. First, let's go and find that agent. Click on get agents. Um, under agents, click on build by Microsoft and click on learning coach and click on add. This is going to add this agent into your Copilot workplace on the right hand sidecar. You can see there is learning coach. You can click on pin this to add this into the right hand sidecar. And here basically you can come in and ask questions and things like that. Now let's go in depth to understand what are the things it can do, the learning coach. First and foremost, what is this learning coach? Learning coach is a personal tutor that helps break down complex subject into manageable learning components. It uses multi-level summaries, structured learning plans, practice exercises and quizzes, exam preparation and study tips and things like that. So let's use these features one by one. First, let's ask the first question. Learn about a topic. Please help me learn about a specific topic. All right, so it is asking us to provide the most relevant inf So it is asking us to provide what topic we are interested in. I'm going to tell Azure AI NLP. All right, so to learn about this Azure AI NLP, it tells that what it is first and foremost. It's a powerful suite of tools and services provided by Microsoft Azure for developers to build and deploy NLP applications. What are the key components? It include Azure Cognitive Services, which include APIs for text analysis, translator, language understanding, things like that. Then it has Azure Machine Learning, then Azure Bot Service for creating intelligent chatbots. Next is Practical Application. What can you do with this? You can create customer support to automate customer service interaction using chatbots, sentiment analysis to analyze feedback to understand the sentiments and improve products or services, language translation to translate content into multiple languages to reach global audience. So these are the things it can do. So the moment you provide a topic, it tells you what it is, what are the key benefits and components and practical application. Would you like to do a deeper dive into specific component? If I say that, yes, I want to have a deeper dive into understanding what is sentiment analysis. It is going to look for sentiment analysis in Azure AI NLP and it tells what it includes. Uh, some of the key features are, first and foremost, it can understand the text and determine what sort of a sentiment. Is it positive, negative, neutral or mixed? And based on that, it can categorize into different scores. It support multiple languages. It can process a large volume of text in a single request. And some of the practical applications are, I can use it for customer feedback, social media monitoring. Uh, oh, that's quite good. And some marketing research. So how does it work? Uh, you basically input the text data. Uh, it processes that information and gives you the output with the scores and labels. This is quite good. So based on what I provided like this Azure AI NLP, I, I kind of learned quickly about what that particular topic is. And even before going and diving deep into understanding more, I kind of learned about that just by asking some basic questions. That is quite good. So if you click on new chat, that's how you can learn about a new topic. The next is learn a new language. Please guide me in learning and practicing a new language. Click enter. To get started, uh, can you please let me know which language you are interested in learning? I'm going to say that I'm interested to learning English. To better assist, what is your current level? I'm going to say that beginner. What are your specific goals in learning work? Do you have a preferred learning style? Visual, auditory, reading, writing, kinesthetic? I will say reading and hit enter. All right, so based on the suggestions, it is gonna give me some learning path because I said I like to read and learn and I'm a beginner and I wanna use it for work. It tells that, hey, vocabulary building, start with basic vocabulary related work and everyday life, use flashcards or apps like Anki to memorize new words, grammar basics, learn fundamental grammar rules, reading practice and daily practices or speaking and listening and writing exercises, things like that. So it gives you a structured plan. And if you have follow-up question, can you suggest some beginner-friendly English books uh, for my field? So if I provide some uh, details about my profession, I tell that I work in the IT sector. 
now it gives me some uh, reference based on where i work some beginner friendly books like english for it oxford english for it technical english vocabulary and grammar um english for computer users and things like that so these are legit book i guess because it is providing the author name and there are people who wrote books like this english for computer users that's quite good all right um uh, if i want to know about some podcasts which i can listen into can you recommend some it related po- podcasts for beginners uh there is fnb sound beats um uh, there is devanpo takapura local board workshop i don't know all right so you can get some um recommendations like this that is quite good so that's how you can use the second option to learn a new language or the structure or guidance to learn a new language the third is how can you practice a skill help me practice by doing exercises for the skills i have can you specify the skill you would like to work on um let's work on my coding skills what's your current level i'm going to say beginner what are the specific programming languages coding you want to focus on i'll say python and send all right so it tells what is python um some beginner concepts about python i don't understand a thing uh some of the examples i can do because i told i am a beginner it assumes that i understand what is this variable data types control structure and things like that i don't get it but you can see that based on the topic you give and based on the level of knowledge you have on showing you the aspiration showing the aspiration to the learning coach it kind of tells you what are the steps you can take to get started uh by Uh, improving your skill level click new chat the next is if you are trying to prepare for a test um please help me prepare for a test on a subject i choose hit enter the agent is happy to help us what is the subject you want to be test um the subject is biology and i can provide more in depth information as well but because i just provided a vague term called biology it tells that hey some of the key topics which i can use is like cell biology genetics evolution what are the schedules i can use to follow to study this in a week by week basis and uh, some of the references which i can use are like some textbook references or online resources some of the practice include uh, uh, multiple choice questions short answer question diagram labeling essay questions test taking strategies and things like that so this is quite good in terms of if i want to prepare for Let's see if I can help it can help me with uh preparation for AZ 900 certification. So if I want to study AZ 900, what are the things this learning coach is going to recommend? Let's go through this one by one. All right, the study plan include a week. I think it's structured for 2 months. That is fairly good amount of time to study Azure fundamentals because it week 1 and 2 cloud concepts uh then few things within within that cloud concept week 3 and 4 core azure services week 5 and 6 security pra- privacy and compliance then azure pricing and support this is quite good and it gives me some reference points as well where i can learn uh, this based on what information it have available within the organization and next is it recommending some practice questions like what are the things i can do like cloud concept core service areas uh um, some of the test taking strategies how can i allocate good amount of time for each section of the exam uh read questions carefully eliminate wrong answers uh practice mock exams this is fairly good right all right so uh give it a try if you are trying to prepare for a particular test give this a shot the next one is uh create a learning plan so this will help you create a learning plan for a topic so it basically uh, it is basically asking you can you specify a topic you want to focus on I, i'm going to tell that hey i want to focus on learning python programming we kind of used the same uh, examples before but that was for a different module so here um, to create a learning plan for python it is telling hey what is your current level of knowledge what is your learning preferences and specific goals so i'm going to tell that hey i have some experience with programming but not with python specifically Okay based on the response i have given uh, the learning coach is giving me a curated learning plan for python programming um i can't validate this 
but when it when i asked questions about um, az900 i could actually validate that was a solid set of response i got from the learning coach so i trust that based on the information i got on az900 i trust these are the good tips to become a good python programmer as well like introduction to python what are the things i can learn and where i can learn some of the activities i can do next is a basic python programming intermediate python programming advanced python programming and the components inside each of this is changing so if you look at the basic one it tells to install the python the second one it tells that hey learn about variables data types and things like that in the intermediate one it asks us to learn about functions modules and packages in the advanced one it is asking us to focus on study object oriented programming in python and things like that so it is giving us step by step in a clear breakdown structure so that we are following a particular method so that we are not overwhelmed at the first week about learning about a complex topic so it's learning from the basic and building the foundation strong so that we are amplifying that and going forward so this is quite good so let's click on new chat the last one is suggest a learning method so can you help me identify the most effective learning approach for me first it is asking uh, what is your learning goal what is your preferred learning style and focus area so if i say that hey i want to improve my skills in project management i didn't even answer the question like preferred learning style and focus area i should do that um i prefer hands on practice and uh, based on that uh, it is giving me some suggestions on what all the things i can do to get my hands on to become a project manager so get involved in real projects uh, uh, use simulation or case studies to understand project management software get familiarize yourself tools like microsoft project trello or asana uh, go to workshops and boot camps to participate to get some hands on trainings in project management Uh, these are a tailored approach so if i have further questions like hey can you help me with risk management and that is going to tailor that uh, based on risk management so this is quite good so that's how you can use the learning coach to learn about a specific topic or to learn a new language gives you a structured plan or if you want to improve a particular skill or a practice a skill how can you do that with exercises if you the next is if you want to prepare for a test it could be a study which you are doing uh, within your organization or it could be a certification what are the steps you can take to prepare for the test the next is to create a detailed learning plan for advancing on a particular topic and finally this can suggest a learning method as well based on your preference style of learning so i hope you found this useful